Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Integromat Make for beginners in 2024. So today, let's embark our exploration on Integromat, of course, which is a powerful automation platform also known as Make. Whether you're seeking to streamline your business processes or enhance personal productivity, Integromat, of course, offers a user-friendly interface and robust features to automate various tasks. So join me through this journey and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign up for an Integromat account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you have. For me here, it's going to be brave for you. It could be anything. Go to the URL section and here you can type into Gromat and hit the enter button. This will take you here. So click on this first link, as we said, which is make.com. And here, if you have an account, make sure to go and click on login here at the top right corner and log in into your account. You'll be able to log in using Google, Facebook, GitHub, SSO. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account, and same will be for creating an account. You'll be able to create an account using Facebook, uh, GitHub, or Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating an account. So from here, I'll just go and create an account with Google. And as you can see, by continue, Googling, by continuing, Google will share your name, email address. So basically the information that you should have entered manually, Google will do it for you or any other option that you choose. So language preferences and profile picture. Well, uh, with Make, you can see, of course, the Make progress policy in terms of servers to see exactly what they're going to do with your data. If you care, if you don't care, it does not matter. And you can manage sign in, of course, with Google in your Google account. So click on continue here and they should fill up all those informations for you. You'll basically have to click on sign up for free and you'll be good to go. As you can see, if it's your first time creating an account, you'll have to answer some simple questions like your role. Which of the following best describe your role? As an example, what you are? Are you a student, professor, marketing growth? What are you? So as an example, I'll just choose student here. And what part of your work do you wish to automate? So you want to automate community management, database and CMS, uh, e-commerce, reporting and analytics, social media, let's say as an example, social media and automation experience. So how do you describe your experience with automating workflows? So I have no experience or I have used other integrations or automated platforms or I have built custom integrations myself. For me, I'll just do I have no experience as an example for me. And how did you hear about Make? So YouTube, search engines, others, if you click on others, depending on whatever you want. So then as you can see, we will deliver the relevant resources for you uh, for an easy start. So click on get started and you are now ready to start your journey with Make. So here you'll be able to explore some templates that is already like made. Of course, as you can see here, you have some access uh, scenarios. If you have some, you have here your dashboard. You can get, of course, a better plan if you want to like get a lot of other things. So as you can see, if you upgraded your plan, you will get like a lot of features that the free plan does not have. If you paid yearly, you will it will cost you less for the long term. So that's if you want this, of course. So as you can see in here, we can go and create some new scenarios example. So basically, if I do this, it should do that. It's basically automation. So as you can see, welcome to the scenario builder. Create your first automated workflow. We will call this a scenario. Follow the builder's checklist to try building with our AI assistance. So if you click on get started, as you can see. Here, if you go and click on plus, you'll have to choose the app. That's going to be the trigger as an example. You can look for the app specifically here. As an example, let's say it's Gmail. So I'll just go here and choose Gmail. And this is going to be the trigger. So it's Gmail. And what's going to be the action? So as an example, if we send an email, if we receive an email, if we create a draft, if we delete an email, if we mark an email as read, as an example, let's say that's going to be my trigger. Of course, now you will have to go and connect or create a connection between your Gmail and Make. So go and click on create a connection and you will basically have to sign in to your account. So an example here, I'll just go and click on sign in to my account and authorize everything. Click on continue. And of course, make sure to allow because this what it should do. It will read, compose, send, and permanently delete all your emails from Gmail. Of course, it will not do all of that. Depending, it will do it, especially if you automate it, but it will not do it like it will has access to it, so it can do it. So click on allow. And then it should be connected. So they are verifying connections. Of course, error if not possible to use restricted scope with customers. 
at gmail's account for more information on how to connect restricted scopes visit our documentation so or they have like it seems a problem with gmail or something like that so of course like just go and change this trigger it was just like an idea of choosing the trigger as gmail of course you can change it out as example if, if you didn't like it you can always just go here and click on delete module and create a new one so instead of gmail i don't know which one should we choose maybe uh i don't know like you can go and come up with whatever you want or if you have no idea of course you can go and choose like some things that is uh, provided here or that will give you an idea so example let's say so the trigger should be i don't know maybe telegram let's say and the action of telegram is examples and uh, or the action of course as you can see when this happened do this so the trigger will be telegram and the action example maybe discord so if you do that if you choose those two options they will take you here of course to create your new scenario so of course you can start your guided setup as you can see every time a new message received on telegram uh, uh, make will automatically post it on your discord server something like that you can create a new scenario from template or start the guided setup of course from here so basically you'll have to connect to both your telegram and discord and it can change the action depending on whatever you want so example let's say if you click on create a webhook of course you'll have to my telegram bot updates or click on create a connection so of course you'll have to connect your account basically you'll have to get your token and give it a name of course this token you will find it on telegram just go and get it and for discord of course you can click on create a connection and you can see my discord connection so you will have to connect it and then you'll have to choose of course example this made here this template's made here so when you receive a new email and or not email sorry like a message on telegram but it will post something on your discord server you can change that as example if you don't want to you can start like as example skip this guided and change it however you want so instead of example of making it just so example let me just go here and do right click and of course once you click on right click click on settings to view the settings and you can even rename it you can delete the module if you don't like telegram anymore as example google sheets you can change it with google sheets with open ai with chat gpt you can change even this this discord you can do a lot of stuff so depending on whatever you want as example so that's all depending on what you want i don't know what you want to automate exactly so for you you can create your scenarios and configure your triggers and actions depending on whatever you want once you finish creating everything for you make sure to click on this one once to test everything out and run your scenario and see if it's working if it's working that's good you can start exploring advanced features as you become more familiar with into roommates and explore advanced features to take automated automations of course to the next level if not you can just keep with the basic stuff if it's good for you so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye